Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, and today I am going to be teaching you how to paint an easy watercolor Christmas tree. Let's get started. To start our painting, first what you're gonna wanna do is lightly sketch out your Christmas tree. I have already sketched out my Christmas tree, put the ornaments where I want them, and then I lightly erased my lines so that I can barely see them because I don't really want them to be visible once I start putting the watercolor paint over it. If you'd like extra detail on how I painted my Christmas tree, head over to my blog. I'll have a link in the description box below. And over there, you can find specific details on how to draw this same tree yourself. But for now, you have your Christmas tree drawn. You are gonna grab your round brush and you're gonna use some clean water to cover up. You know what, we're actually gonna use our flat brush. We're gonna grab our flat brush and we are going to cover up our entire painting with water. We are going to leave our Christmas tree untouched for this portion, but for the layer to blend very smoothly, we want the entire page wet. So now you're gonna take your round brush and you're gonna dip it into a dark, a very dark navy blue mixture. And you're just gonna apply that kind of along the edges. I already have my painting taped off with masking fluid not a masking fluid, um, with painter's tape so that I'm going to have a really nice crisp border around my Christmas tree. So right now we're just applying the blue, the dark blue, along the edges. I just mixed ultramarine blue and Payne's Gray to get a little bit darker tone. I'm gonna rinse off my brush a little bit. I'm not gonna take all of the paint off. And then I'm just gonna blend out that blue. And remember, I don't really want it to touch my tree. So just kind of lightly bring it in. take clean water on my brush and I'm going over my Christmas tree blending out toward the blue so there's not going to be any harsh lines just like that and then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more blue and Payne's gray along the outer edges. Just cause I feel like it needs to be a little bit more saturated. Over here my water's kind of my paint's pooling so I'm just gonna dab that up. And then it's easy just to go right back in. Clean my brush off. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. Again, I don't really want any harsh, any harsh lines on my sky. Kind of work with it until you get it the way that you like it. All right, and now we're going to let this layer dry, and then we're going to come back and start adding detail to the tree. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a small detail brush, and we are going to dip it into a gold paint, and we are going to paint in our ornaments and, and tree topper. 
So for this, I'm using yellow ochre. And I'm gonna carefully paint in my ornaments, leaving a little bit of white space. I don't want my entire ornament full. I want there to be a little bit of white toward the top area. Just so that they don't seem solid and that there's a little bit of a glow. Again, I already sketched out where I wanted my ornaments so that I can do this step before I add the green to my tree so that my ornaments aren't going to become diluted or really having to work over the dark green that I'm gonna to apply to the tree. This way, my ornaments can be bright, they can have that white glow that I'm giving them, and I don't have to worry about it affecting the green area of the tree. You can use masking fluid to keep your ornaments clean, but that's just an optional step. I know not a lot of Beginner watercolor artists have masking fluid. And then I'm just painting in the entire tree topper. Come in here a little bit. Perfect. So I have my ornaments in place. So now I'm going to let these completely dry and then we'll come back in and give our tree, um, bring our tree to life. So now we're going to paint our tree. I'm going to be using two different shades of green to complete the tree. I'm going to start with a very light green and then I'm going to go back in with a bluish green to give it some shadowing and some final details. So everything is completely dry so I'm not worried about anything bleeding into each other. I'm going to take that light green paint mixture. And I'm just going to start by going straight down the middle to give me my tree trunk guide. And then what I'm gonna be doing for the tree is I'm just gonna be creating some zigzag line, like kind of like scribbly lines for the actual tree branches itself. And this way I'm able to avoid, able to avoid my ornaments and I don't have to worry about getting them all covered up with the green paint. So I'm trying to keep that center line, I'm going to blend it in as I go down. I don't want there to be a sharp, thick line. Painting trees is a very relaxing thing for me. I enjoy doing this. It, the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. And it just can be so much fun watching the tree come to life in such an easy way of just zigzagging your lines around, really getting to play with your water placement and your paint mixtures. You can make it as abstract or as detailed as you want. So you can see as I go farther down, my tree gets wider as I go down and the top stayed very thin. So that's something to remember as you're painting. You want to give yourself enough time to make your tree thick at the bottom, but also don't start off too thick at the top to where your tree is going to be absolutely massive. That's why I like starting at the top and then working downward. I always feel like I can create more of an even shaped tree that way. 
there we go. And for this, we don't have to wait for this to dry. We can immediately go in with our darker paint. So with the darker paint, I am mainly going to be sticking toward the center and adding it there. I'm gonna do a little bit on the outside, but mainly I'm going to be staying close to the center. Again, this is just going to give it that darker shadowing detail to give it some more depth, like it's not just sitting flat on our page. For all of the colors that I used, I will have them listed over on my blog. You can also head over there for that if you would like the specific paint colors that I used for this painting. But you can just mix together green, yellow, and blue, and you can come up with the same painting. But over there I do have a little bit of extra detail to help you create this. I'm going to bring a little bit of thin lines toward the outside just to give it a little bit more depth out there, especially since it goes into the dark blue. Just kind of check your tree to see where it's at. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get a little bit of the blue and a lot of the Payne's gray and just a little bit of green and then I'm going to come in here I'm going to give our tree a loose tree trunk I don't want it to be too thick and I don't want it to be too perfect either just because the way we painted the tree is very loose so just like that and then I'm going to take some clean water on my brush. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit to give it a shadow under there. Just like that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add a little bit of white to our painting and I'm going to do this with white acrylic paint. You can however use white gouache or white watercolor straight out of the tube. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush and then I'm going to apply some white acrylic paint and I'm going to add some snow. So normally I wouldn't add it to the bottom but I did forget to leave this area white. I went all the way down with my blue. So to fix that, I'm just going to add, using a little bit of water with my acrylic paint, I'm just gonna add a, a nice layer of white acrylic paint down here. Go around that tree trunk. The one thing that is nice about this is it is going to blend in and kind of mix a little bit using water with my already the the paint that's already there so it's going to give it a nice a little bit of a blue tinge which I do really like especially because it is nighttime in my painting and I it'll um snow wouldn't be pure white it would have shadow from the sky just like that I don't want anything to be too harsh. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean my brush completely off. That's one thing about using acrylic paint. If you leave it, your brush will become as hard as a rock. So I'm going to get a little bit of that bluish gray mixture. And then I'm going to re-add 
on top of the wet acrylic paint my shadow and you see how it can blend it can blend together so nicely I'm gonna add just a little bit more because it will mix in with the white paint a lot more than it would with watercolor so just to give it that depth and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to swirl my brush with a little bit of water to blend the sky and the ground so it's not so drastic kind of go up and into the sky. Like that. All right, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to add a little bit of snow to my tree. So I'm going to take a smaller brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of white over the tips of the branches. Just to make it look like it powdered on top a little bit. Like that. So not a lot, just a little bit to give it that look to kind of blend it together. And you can do more or less if you like. And then now I'm actually gonna use white watercolor paint. And I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper, a couple scrap pieces of paper, and I'm going to place it over my tree. And then I'm gonna load up my round brush with a lot of water and a lot of white paint. Move this down for you. I'm gonna dab off any like dripping water. And then I'm going to splatter my white watercolor paint all over my painting. And I'm gonna clean my brush. Move my scrap pieces of paper. And now I have a snowy Christmas tree. Hey everyone, thanks for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you'd like any extra detail on this painting, head over to my blog, Reflecting Creation, for the specific art supplies that I use, the specific paint colors that I use. I will have a link in the description box below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks. Bye.